you can still drown in the desert, especially when monsoon puts the flash in flash flood. That's where Emily comes in. Hydronalix makes several versions of the on-water rescue drone, including one tough enough to handle anything a flash flood can throw at. The motor is stronger than just the standard Emily that's designed more for the ocean because we have to beat those uh, strong currents or the eddies that might come up that we're not prepared for or what's underneath the water because we all know who's ever seen a flash flood in the state of Arizona. Take it away from it, go out towards the lake. A hand controller makes it easy to guide Emily where you need to go. Now, if I'm in the water and I'm in trouble, once the rescuers ease Emily up to me, they've got a two-way right here so they can give me instructions. They don't want you to ride this thing like it's a horse. They want you to work your way back to the handles and ideally get back here so you can be easily towed. The propulsion is a water jet, so there's no propeller to hurt you. Emily's are saving lives in more than 30 countries, including in the waters off Greece, where refugees have been risking their lives to escape the bloodshed in Syria. Here on Parker Canyon Lake, search and rescue specialists from the Cochise County Sheriff's Department are watching a demo, and so is Scott Kerb. He owns the marina at the lake and would love to have his own Emily here. Real important with the people that we have out here, swimmers out in the middle of the lake. Um, many times we've had to go out in our boat and rescue them. And so this should make our response time quicker to get to the people. And Emily can rush to the rescue at almost 25 miles per hour. Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side.